What's up, Panthers? I'm Kent. And I'm Halea. And this is Media 2 taking over, and we have a full crew of anchors trading off to bring you the news for this week. Seniors, just a reminder, we have our Midsummer Ball this weekend, and Friday, May 10th, is the last day to buy your ticket. Bids are also due by Thursday, May 9th. Tickets are $85 for the rest of this week. Don't miss out. Also, seniors, on May 10, West Park is having a senior tailgate here at the West Park parking lot. If you're looking to have a great time celebrating your accomplishments with your friends, Senior Tailgate is the place for you. There's going to be games, food and drinks, decorating your car. This event will be held from 5 to 7 p.m. and don't be late. Seniors, we also have cap and gown pickup on May 17th. All seniors must be at lunch that day to receive them. We'll take it from here. I'm Rihanna. And I'm Jalan, and we are your second pair of anchors. Panthers AP's test started Monday, May 6th, and we will be continuing till next Friday, the 17th. Check your AP classroom for your testing day time. You may have noticed our amazing baton girls at the games and rallies, but who are these girls? We decided to find out more. I've been twirling for 13 years since I was two years old. Uh, yeah, 11 years for me since I was like, as long as I can remember, I've been twirling. We started on team together. Elise was four. I think I was five. Um, yeah. My mom was one of the coaches there. Yeah. And then we did team together for three years. Yes. We won Nash. We got second place at nationals with team. Years. We did pairs for two years. We got second place at nationals too. Yeah. I came to West Park and twirled with the marching band and then she came to West Park to West and Park. started twirling with me in the marching band. Yep. So we've been twirling for five or six years five together. Six years. Yeah. We don't really struggle with anything yeah. too much, you know, sibling squabbles here and there, but yeah. nothing too serious. Nothing we can't handle. We know that twirling together is so much fun and twirling yeah. with the Panther marching band is so much fun. So yeah. we're super honored to do that yeah. together. Yeah. Usually I start off practice with a good warm up and stretch so I don't pull anything. And then after I warm up, I start drilling my tricks like my triple and my illusion walk illusion. Cheering at football games, cheering at rallies, basketball games, whenever we do perform together or individually, just cheering us on. We really greatly appreciate it. We love feeling the energy yeah. from the student section, the claw. Yeah. And it's just super like an amazing feeling that we're so grateful to experience. Just coming and supporting us and the marching band is one of the best ways that you can support us and like we'll we'll know you guys are there. So, what's going on for sports this week, Jalon? I don't know. Let's pass it over to Dexter and Jemiah to find out. What's up, Panthers? I'm Jemiah. And I'm Dexter with this week's sports update. Yesterday, three of our West Park athletes made their athletic commitments. Let's take a look. Surrounded by their families, teammates, coaches, and teachers, Ashlyn, Matthew, and Tyler signed their national letter of intent in a ceremony Wednesday morning. They are among a total of only seven Panthers who have received this rare athletic scholarship. Yeah, today um, me and a couple other seniors are doing an event for signing, so national letter of intent for whatever school we're getting recruited for for our sports. I'm getting recruited for acrobatics and tumbling. It's kind of like a mix of stunt and cheer, um, and I'm going to Mars Hill University in North Carolina. Yeah, I had, I had a few other options, um, but Stanford was just the best out of all of them, like academically and athletically. Um, it's just, it was like a no-brainer to... Uh, to choose Stanford. I'm going to be doing computer science while I'm there. Um, hopefully I play good enough, you know, uh, my dreams to go to the draft. Uh, I feel like every, every athlete's dream is to play professionally, but uh, yeah, I got to take care of the school part first. I'm doing my national signing day and I am excited to commit to my college, Bill Cross. Uh, it's in San Rafael, California, by the Bay Area. I decided to commit there just this is a great campus, and they have a great lacrosse team, and I'm super excited to go. Ashley, Matt, and tell us what an accomplishment. Uh, depending on where you look, uh, somewhere around 1%, maybe less, uh, actually achieved this coming out of high school to sign a NLI Division I or Division II scholarship. Uh, so that alone is incredible. Awesome and amazing, and thank you so much for being true Panthers and representing us. Congratulations, you guys. Now on to our stunt team who ended with a league title. 
placing third in sections and are off to state where they are ranked ninth out of 100 in California. This is big news for such a new program and we hope to see them dominate tomorrow. In their last home game of the season, girls softball secured a huge win over Placer, pushing their record to 14-4. and They are now second in league and take on the Lincoln Zebras on the road. Congratulations to the boys varsity volleyball team on their first league title in school history and their undefeated record. Last Thursday, they won their first rounds of playoffs against Elk Grove. On Tuesday, they took on Weston Ranch in the quarterfinals. Here are the scores from that game. Our swim team took an impressive 19 swimmers to sections where five school records were broken over the three-day swim meet. Jordan Raglan qualified for states this Friday in the 100 freestyle and the 100 breaststrokes. Kaylee Matheson earned a consideration cut for states and is an alternate entry. Our boys team finished overall in fifth and the girls finished overall in 11th. Track and field is wrapping up an incredible season where 23 of their 25 school records were broken, including last week at the FVL League Finals where Obi de Villa Garcia broke the school record for pole vault at 12 foot 7. Nope. <laughs> they had an impressive seven relay teams and 20 individual FVL champions this year. Varsity boys took home the FVL champions pennant for the first time. Varsity girls placed second in league. Frosh and soft girls and boys both placed first. 24 individual athletes qualified for the SJS Division Three section meet this past Tuesday, where Jaden Carruthers already qualified for the Masters meet in Davis next week. Today is Division Three finals, so good luck to our Panther track team. That's it for this week's sports report. And now back to y'all in the studio. Appreciate that, Jemaya and Dexter. I'm Rio. And I'm BK. Let's get it cracking. It is the third annual Powder Post game for the ladies, and we will be celebrating up until Friday. Football season may be over for the guys, but it isn't for the ladies. The game is a home game here at West Park on May 17th at 7 p.m. Be there or be square. I don't know about you, but I need a little nervous when someone asks to go to my backpack. We have Candy and ask people what was the weirdest thing in their backpack. What's up, West Park? We're going around seeing what's the weirdest thing in your backpack, weirdest thing wins, and gets Candy. What's the weirdest thing you got in your backpack? The weirdest thing I got in my backpack, I got some socks. Okay, hey, show the camera though. One sock. What about $6,000? Oh, he got $6,000. He got $6,000. <laughs> 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 Your cold, your freshener. Oh, oh he wins. He wins. What the? <laughs> <laughs> That's a dog toy in his backpack. I got this like Shrek toy. It's a donkey toy with, with no ears. Oh Jesus. It's your winner today. Candy boy? Wait, basically, the weirdest thing in your backpack, whoever wins, get candy. It's just the weirdest thing in your backpack. The oddest the thing in my backpack. Like the most random thing. No, but like, <laughs> oh, oh, no key. No key. He might have won. Low key, he might have won. Uh, we don't even need a challenge now. We just, he automatically yeah, qualified. Yeah, he won. Hey, he didn't win out of this. Oh, right, let's see what he got. I have a toothbrush or toothpaste. Uh, I got, okay, I got it. that's what I did. <laughs> but uh, Loki, I think we just gotta give it to the to the handcuff. Uh, yeah, I never seen the like the weirdest thing you're about. I have a random fork and I don't use it. Just <laughs> Why did everyone got utensils? Yeah, use tissue. Use tissue. Okay, use tissue. Use, right, use tissue. tissue. Use toothpick. Okay. Oh, you got you got use tooth. All I got is use. Bro, bro, bro just got trash in his backpack. <laughs> I'm seeing a whole wardrobe in that backpack. We got a we got a very interesting candy cane right here. How'd this end up in your backpack? How long has it been in there? Four months? Christmas time? Oh Jesus. Okay. They said no. They Close said it. yes. They said no. No means no. I forgot how to count after that. Okay. We got the we got a shot. Alright. <laughs> he just got the whole wardrobe in it. Oh, shorts, shorts. Hey! Anything you want to say? Hey, 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 hey. All right, that's a wrap for our Media 2 Takeover featuring your best anchors. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram. And as always, our time is out.